Negotiating is an integral part of our day-to-day -day business activities. Whether you want to hire a new worker, purchase new items, sell some goods, or make one or two transactions, in negotiating, credibility, customer value, and profit margins are a few things to consider to close a deal successfully. Yes, I know it feels like a lot, but only when you don't understand some of the necessary skills needed to be an effective negotiator. Robert Estabrook, a famous author, said, he who has learned to disagree without being disagreeable has discovered the most valuable secret of a diplomat. Esther Brooks' definition best defines what negotiation entails. It's about knowing what you want and getting it without forcing the other party to give it to you. Instead, they do so willingly. So in this video, I'll share with you the five most important negotiation skills you must master. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number one, be confident. Tell me, do you like to deal with people who aren't confident? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Well, likewise everyone else. If you honestly understand the value you are offering as a negotiator, then the last thing you need to be is timid. Be confident in yourself, your product, your abilities, your pitch, and every other thing that is necessary to aid a successful negotiation. Stewart Stafford, an actor and writer, said, Confidence is when you believe in yourself and your abilities. While Blake Lively, an American actress, completed a quote saying, The most beautiful thing you can wear is confidence. Speak confidently during negotiations and the other negotiator will be able to tell that you know what you are doing. Hence, they can trust you or your product to deliver its promise. Be bold and confident enough to communicate both your points of value and what makes you different than anyone else on the market. It will help you negotiate better when you understand what you stand for. Number two, become a people's person. You see, you need to learn to build a good rapport with the people you are negotiating. Yes, you want to sell your product or sell yourself and your services as quick as you can. But you need to understand that people will only do business with you when they realize that you're not just after their money, but giving them something valuable. To do this, however, you need to learn how to relate with them by becoming a people's person. You need to know how your behavior affects others. You also need to understand that we all have different ways of communicating. So, to negotiate successfully, it'll be best to learn how to communicate in different ways so that you can change your communication style whenever the need arises. Also, you're likely going to reach a collaborative agreement more if you spend even just a few minutes trying to get to know each other. And if you're negotiating over emails, even a brief introductory phone call may make a difference. Sometimes, you need to learn to put others first. It shouldn't always be about you. In negotiating, you need to understand that it should be a win-win situation, not a win or lose game. When you relate with other negotiator, bearing this in mind, you are likely to accomplish your goal. J. Paul Getty, an American-born British petrol industrialist, advises, you must never try to make all the money that's in a deal. Let the other fellow make some money too, because if you have a reputation of always making all the money, you won't have many deals. Number 3. Be an active listener. Listening in negotiation helps you to learn the interest of the other party. Don't listen to reply but to understand. So, here's something about communication that you must understand. It is 93% non-verbal and the remaining 7% are words. According to a study done by Dr. Albert Merabian of UCLA on the ways we communicate when there is an incongruency or mismatch in communication, words 7%, the tone of voice 38% and the body language 55%. Which is why so much gets lost between the speaker's lips and the listener's ear. So pay attention to the other negotiator. 
That way, you will know what they want and you'll be in a better position to offer something valuable to help solve their problem. Number 4. Be flexible. It'll be best to understand what you want, but be flexible in your approach to get it. You don't want to be too stiff. Bill Coleman, an American jazz trumpeter, said, The worst thing you can say is, I want X dollar for this job, leaving no opening for negotiation by the other side. Better language is, I hope to earn between X dollar and X dollar. That gives the other party more flexibility. Also, another thing to note about being flexible is that you can be on top of any situation quickly. For instance, imagine a situation where the other party throws a curveball at you while negotiating. Keeping an open mind in that can help you find your way out in a very calm manner. Always try to keep an open mind and remain flexible while negotiating. Number 5. Be patient. Here's something that you need to know about negotiating. It can sometimes be awkward, especially if you are new to the game. So, it'll be best to learn how to be calm and patient. Be patient enough not to be the first person to make an offer, especially if you are the seller. I mean, you may never know, the buyer might be willing to pay more than you are suggesting. And if you are the buyer, the price may be significantly higher than what the seller was hoping. Bill Coleman suggested, This is a classic negotiation technique. It's a gentle, soft indication of your disapproval and a great way to keep negotiating. Counts to 10. By then, the other person usually will start talking and may very well make a higher offer. When you are patient, it sort of forces the other party to become eager to make an offer first, after which negotiation can commence. There you go. With these skills in place, you'll become an excellent negotiator. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channels and subscribe. We love you.